Hello, my name is Tazen from Casa Geo, the data science and location intelligence company. In this video, I will briefly show you how you can access Microsoft SharePoint in Alteryx. For this I show you, how to download and install the connector, how to connect to SharePoint, how to save a file, how to load a file. In order to be able to save files on SharePoint or load them from there, you need the SharePoint connector. The connector is not part of Alteryx and has to be installed first. You can find the tools in the Alteryx community. I have copied the link into the description. We select the current version. This is the version v2.3.0. To download the tools you have to register in the Alteryx community. I have already done this. Please note that the connector only works with AMP and Alteryx version 2021. 4.2 patch 6 or version 2022.1 patch 4 and newer. The installation is done by double clicking on the iXi file. Then we click on install and the connector will be added to Alteryx. In the connectors we find four new tools, SharePoint input, SharePoint list input, SharePoint list output, and SharePoint output. In this video we will only work with the tools SharePoint input and output. In order to be able to use the connector, we must first change the DCM parameters in the user settings. We activate override DCM system settings and enable DCM with the DCM mode DCM optional and allow for SDK access mode. We save the settings. Now we can connect to SharePoint. We use SharePoint 365 in the cloud and log in as a user. We do this by clicking on connect. The browser for logging into Microsoft opens. I receive confirmation that the connection has been set up. In the first step we want to save a table as an Excel file in a folder I named Alteryx SharePoint. For this I wrote some data in the text input tool and link it to the SharePoint output tool. Under site I select the desired site. In this example it is called Alteryx Designer. Under document library I select documents and then Alteryx SharePoint. Now we select the option Add File, as we want to create a new file. I name the file TestXLSX. It is important that the file extension is entered so that the connector recognizes the file type. I also have to configure the file. Here you can see that the connector can save CSV, Excel, and Alteryx files. I call the spreadsheet test sheet. That's it. If you made a mistake, just click on the folder again and enter the file name again. Before I run the workflow, let's make sure that the folder on SharePoint is empty. Now I run the workflow. I refresh the SharePoint page and see the Excel file. The content is also correct. In Alteryx, I add another record and run the workflow. If we don't change anything in the configuration, a new file is created. If we do not want that, we change the existing action from rename to overwrite file. In the second part we want to read the file back into Alteryx. For this we open a new workflow and start with the SharePoint input tool. In principle, this works the same way. We log in. Select the site Alteryx Designer as Document Library Documents as File Path Documents Alteryx SharePoint and as File Test X LSX. Again, I configure the file. I select XLSX and the number of the desired spreadsheet. I run the workflow. That's all for loading and writing in SharePoint today. If you liked the video, give us a like and if you are interested in the topics of data science and location intelligence, then subscribe to our channel. Thank you for your time.